Yo, what's going on guys? It is Kevdog here, and today I'll be showing you old Pokemon games from generations 1 to 3 on the Nintendo Switch. I'll be using these two launchers right here, the Game Boy Advance Nintendo Switch Online launcher and the one for the regular Game Boy. I'm going to show you guys in the docked view like this, as well as if you're playing in handheld mode. And this is actually my second time recording this, so I don't really have an authentic reaction to this. But either way, it's pretty cool. So let's get right into the video, and if you guys have not done so yet, please subscribe to my channel and like this video, and comment down below what old game are you most excited for. Just keep in mind, these games have not been officially revealed to be coming to the Switch, so don't get your hopes up too high. But without wasting any more time, let's get right into the video. So first off, I'm going to start with Game Boy. I'm going to click on the Game Boy launcher right here, and I have actually injected Pokemon Crystal in to the launcher so let's see it'll should load up and pop up right here boom pokemon crystal version let's go it looks actually pretty solid on the switch it runs perfectly fine because you know these are game boy and game boy advance games they came out a very long time ago so the switch has no issue running them now like i said before this is actually my second time recording this because of the first time my audio for me talking was not recorded for some reason so yeah i'm doing this for the second time but oh well it's okay i'm gonna get through all these menus and i'm gonna show you guys picking a starter you know walking around the overworld and doing a wild battle okay so this is what it looks like in the overworld and it does look a little bit different than if you were playing on an original Game Boy or Game Boy Color, of course, but you know, this is emulated, it is on a screen, so it's a lot different than on an old Game Boy. One thing I noticed while playing yesterday is right here when you're in the starter menu, it doesn't look like they have much color, but once you actually select them and, you know, you can view them in the summary menu, it does look perfectly fine. Okay, let's head back out into the overworld. We're gonna go over here to our first wild battle, but first I wanna show you guys when I open up the menu what I was talking about. If you actually look right here on the stats menu, you can see Total Isle is fully colored and it looks good. I really hope they actually officially reveal these on the switch instead of making it so you just have to use custom firmware and get these like illegitimately it's not really it's not the same i want to be able to play these online do real online trades and battles I don't even know if you could battle in Gen 2, but let's go right into Sentra. This is what a wild battle looks like. It does look good. One other thing you can do that they are definitely going to get rid of if you can officially play these in the future is hold ZL and ZR, and it'll bring up the rewind menu from other games. This can be very broken because you can get a critical hit on you, for example, or get hit in confusion and just simply rewind and go back in time before that happened. There is no way that that is something that they would not patch out for Pokemon games. But yeah, this is pretty much what Crystal looks like, and you can also press ZL and ZR, but don't hold them down and it'll bring up this menu where you can create a save state you can see my save state from yesterday too that's about it for gens 1 and 2 though i didn't put gen 1 on here because it'd be pretty much the same thing but without color for the most part so we're gonna move over to gen 3 okay so i'm now on the game boy advanced launcher and yesterday in my footage that wasn't messed up which was when i recorded on my phone in handheld mode i was playing pokemon fire red i had a setup yesterday in my footage where i was actually playing pokemon emerald not sapphire but there's not too big of a difference but we're gonna be booting up sapphire right now and let me just show you guys the starting menus look perfect like this right here and when it loads up blue right here oh my gosh it looks perfect i think the game boy advance games ended up looking better than the game boy ones did but that's just kind of personal preference now while i boot into my save file i have two questions to know what you guys think question number one do you think if they add these games to switch online will they actually make it so you can trade with people online or if it's just going to be a fully offline experience i think if they add these it would be pretty dumb of a decision to make it so you can't connect even locally or online to trade with people because i don't think that would be that hard to implement really at all and question number two would be do you think if they add these games whether it be on switch online or if they make like a pokemon classic collection like they did with mario 3d all-stars would they make it so you could connect to pokemon home i think if they don't add compatibility to pokemon home it could really be a big missed opportunity because transferring pokemon directly from gens 1 through 3 right to pokemon home and into gen 8 or 9 that could be amazing but anyways this is hoeing we got the amazing little root theme playing i can't even hear it because my headphones are out but i can just picture what it sounds like okay just talk to man i'm gonna go get my starter but first i'm actually gonna move my footage over or something like this so you guys can actually see the whole thing i don't know why i didn't do that earlier but yeah let's go get my starter and what i did yesterday was i picked mudkip so i had a water starter on emerald and then on fire i picked charmander so today let's go with Trico why not let's go get Trico so the coloring if you guys haven't noticed yet looks spot on it looks amazing in this game you know the pokeballs with the red coloring it looks great Mudkip, Torchic, but we're gonna go with Trico. Anyways, this is how it looks loading into a battle. I really wish, oh my gosh, it reminds me of, I'll put a picture on screen, of the GameCube player, if you guys ever had that. I personally never owned that, but it was always cool watching people like Chugga Conroy, because they had that player where you could actually put a Game Boy game with, I believe it was called the Game Boy Player, into a GameCube. I really wish I owned one of those as a kid. Man, I'm just whooping this Poochiana, but like I said earlier, you can actually hold these two buttons right here, and if that Poochiana were to get a critical hit on me, I can rewind and go back in time as if it never happened now i'm going to open up the summary menu so you guys can see what that would look like wow this looks great and we're actually going to move on to the handheld footage so let's go 
Okay, I am now ready to play and show you guys in handheld mode, and I cannot complain at all. This looks really good. I know in the back of the battle, the color looks kind of off, but if I bring it up closer, it does look correct. It's just kind of how it's picking up in the camera right now. But yeah, I'll hold it up here so you guys can see it just the same way I am, and man, it looks really good. I can't even tell if this is 30 FPS or 60. I think this is actually 60, but I'm gonna go up here to the May fight, and then I'm gonna show you guys Pokemon Fire Red 2. Here we go, the battle against May. I know as a kid, I used to lose this battle almost every time. I don't even know if I was just trash or getting unlucky. Pretty much, if she gets a critical hit, you will lose. And I'm not even sure if the meta is to use growl and then tackle, or just press tackle over and over. That's what I've always done, though. Just spam tackle. I could turn the music up, too, so you guys can hear it. Sounds, you know, perfectly fine, of course. I'm sure you guys heard it, too, when I was playing it docked, but I had my headphones out, so I'm not really sure. Ooh, there we go. I almost died. I had two HP left, but man, this looks really good. I'm gonna boot up Pokemon Fire Red in just a second. The last thing I wanted to show is that you can actually do the rewind feature, which it's another thing, probably, like, save states that will probably be changed in the future. So for example, I can go back here and if she got a critical hit, I can go back to right before the attack happened and make it so I didn't lose. That's pretty broken if you ask me, but that's definitely something that would get, you know, patched out. But we're gonna boot up Pokemon Fire Red. Let's give it a watch. All right, Pokemon Fire Red version. Let's go over here. I also do not have a save file on this game zone. You know, we're really starting fresh. And take a look at this. Oh my gosh. Looks so good. I can't set it on the sand because... Uh, I mean, it's not a bad. It's just gonna fall down. I forgot to make the text speed fast, so I'm going extremely slowly through this menu right now. I'm trying to speed through it, but it's taking forever. What a throwback. Pokemon Fire and Leaf Green might have been the first Pokemon games I ever played. I'm not actually too sure because I started my Pokemon journey when I was three years old. Oh my gosh, Ballot Town. I love it so much. I forgot to say, but this version of Pokemon Fire Red is actually modified, so every encounter is a 1% chance. Just wanted to add that little detail in there, because I might be able to go right up here into the wild and actually find a shiny right now. Or maybe even my starter. I'm gonna go with Charmander, because, you know, I would go with Squirtle, but I just picked Mudkip in the other game, so let's pick Charmander. It is still very unlikely that this one would actually be a shiny, because it's still a 1% chance. It's pretty low odds. Let's see just for fun. Is my Charmander shiny? That'd be hilarious. And nope, just a regular one. But look at this guy right here. It looks so cool. This would literally be like one of my childhood dreams because I really wanted these games to be on the 3DS, but they never did it. They did put Pokemon red, blue, yellow, green, and then also gold, silver, and crystal and trading card game, I think. But you know, nothing like the mainline series above Gen 2. And this is how long it takes to get through all these menus, I swear. But let's see, will I win the battle? Oh, uh, I'm already slower. It's going pretty poorly. Yo, I'm doing way more damage. I want to see if they will get a critical hit because it'd be pretty funny if I could just rewind and have the critical hit not happen. I guess I, oh, there we go critical hit let's see let's go back until right here this is the scratch from the previous turn and let's see he's not gonna get a critical hit now i'm sure of it and let's see and nope oh my gosh that is so cheating there we go gary is defeated and that is gonna be about it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys are excited as i am but don't get too hyped though there is a chance that none of this could actually happen and these games will not be released on the nintendo eShop or really at all re-release on the Switch. Pokemon Day is coming very soon, and I'm sure they're gonna announce, you know, Scarlet Violet DLC, as well as many other things. I want to know what you guys think. Oh yeah, before we're done though, let's see. Oh my <laughs> Boom. There's our 1% shiny. What the heck? I mean, I, I'm not that hyped for it to be a shiny, because not only I can't catch it, but it is a 1% chance. But dude, 1% and I got a first try? Like, what? That's pretty funny, though. I had to run because, you know, can't catch it. It's not legit. Well, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, let's see. Will I get lucky? Two in a row? Nope. That is a regular Pidgey. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe to my channel because if this is officially announced, I will be announcing it too. But yeah, guys, thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon. Peace out.